Hey guys, thanks for joining me for a quick overview on the second video on this uh, little loafer. So just a quick uh, go around the little loafer here. And there's the front prior to me doing any modifications to the tongue. look all the way around. Now we'll go up to the roof here. Now the roof, uh, the owner told me that she had put uh, a reinstalled vent with new butyl tape, thinking that would stop the leaks because there was some water damage. But I told her that uh, needed to get some sealant anyways. Uh, so when she brought it to me, I went ahead and sealed it up. And this is a uh, self leveling sealant dries nice, made by Dicor. She also uh, wanted, as I expressed in the other video, a 12 volt system. So I'm looking at everything. This is inside a little closet they have. The uh, fuse panel, now you're looking at uh, wires that brought in uh, through an existing hole, then off to the side into the little closet on, along the floor. Inside the little closet along the floor, just showing them coming in. And then after being tied down, uh, starting to run them up to uh, be hooked up. And this is kind of how it ended. Finished up here with these pictures here. So I built a little box to go around the converter so it wouldn't get damaged or stepped on or and there's another picture with the finished electrical system added a second circuit. Now this is not a clock. This is actual meter showing the voltage of her 12 volt batteries or actually her two six volt batteries. And some more wiring along the top of the closet, cleaned up the wiring, uh, existing wiring inside an overhead bin in the kitchen area. And now we'll do some testing of the lights here in just a little bit. Hey, what do you think? You have lights? Look at that. You have lights over here too. Lights are working. Now here you can see I uh, changed out the uh, propane line along with a new regulator and you can see the flame coming out of the range top. Also the flame inside the oven, but the oven pilot is not working or I didn't see it working. This is the roof vent. I uh, put a trim piece uh, only to hide some damage from prior from the prior owner. Um, they're going to be painting the inside of this little trailer. And now another quick overview on the outside. Cleaned up. Now you can see here in this picture the modifications that we did from video number one to the tongue. Adding the two batteries, two 6 volt batteries wiring up so that we have 12 volt and then making room for a propane tank. Also uh, took the flat four connector and put in a round flat seven pin connector and adding a charge line from the car to the batteries to charge up. That, talk to you guys later.